Hi there, welcome back to Resin by Drew. Today I'm going to use these um, geode um, holographic coasters from Moulds and Shapes and I'm going to make some 3D blooms. Um, I'm going to be, to begin with, I'm going to take out of the big pot of resin the resin that I need to make my white um, pigment. So I'll just take that out first of all and then I'll share the rest of the resin between the moulds. As I always say, I'm not filling them up at this stage. It always, then it gives me the choice of back filling with a different colour or a glitter or clear or a micro or something like that Let further down the line. It doesn't make any difference to the flowers at all, whether you, fill, you, can, fill, you can fill your mould up to the top at this stage if that's what you prefer to do. It really doesn't make a difference to your flat, the way your flowers will bloom. It's just my personal preference not to fill them all the way to the top at this point. And that is just so that I can backfill them um, if I wish to, if that's all, or I can backfill with something different of my choice. That's the only reason I don't. So it's quite a warm day, so my resin's been sat for 15 minutes and it's got to a temperature of 41.3 degrees, which is perfect. Um, I'm just going to make my white up, which as normal I'm going to be using Resitint Max in titanium white and a few drops of my Piñata Pearl alcohol ink. So I'll just mix that up. I'm going to give the white a good stir because I've not used it yet today scrape all the goodness from the sides and the bottom give it a good old stir mix it all in and then I'm going to scrape off my stick and that's all I'm going to put in my tub so I've literally scraped everything off my stick except for the sides I'm going to stir that in the resin helps the uh, pigment come off this popsicle stick, lollipop stick. I can scrape it off as well. But that just gives the right amount. You don't want it to be too opaque. You don't want it to be too. But if it's too opaque, it'll it's more likely to drop and give you blobs. You just want it um, sort of, I don't know, semi-skimmed milk colour. that's that. I'm going to add my drops of alcohol ink. Um, I'm going to add eight drops of the um, Piñata Pearl alcohol. Just give it a good shake because it does separate when it's been stood for a little while. And then we'll talk about the alcohol inks that I'm going to use to colour the, um, the coasters. good stir. Just, uh, as I usually say you don't have to use the alcohol ink but I just like the effect that it gives. I know a lot of people use the um, regular um, piñata blanco blanco but I like the effect of the pearl so I tend to stick with the pearl. That's all mixed in nicely so I'm going to pour that straight into my piping bag. That can sit for a couple of minutes while we sort out the alcohol inks for the flowers. Okay, so I'm going to use, um, I'm not sure what the combination will be like actually, but it's two colours that I like together. So I'm going to use Resin 8 Eggnog and Resin 8 um, Grey Ghost. So I think I'm going to put Grey Ghost in the middle and Eggnog around the outside. I'm just giving them both a good shake. I don't think I've used this grey ghost yet to be honest. Put 
four drops of grey ghost in the middle I'm going to surround that by the eggnog the eggnog is just one of my favourite colours to drop in this one but I'm not too worried about that. And in this one but it just looks like now oh, that one's got that one less drop so it doesn't matter too much. There we go. I'm just going to use my dotting tool and help the eggnog spread a little bit. going to take my piping bag and snip a tiny hole in the end check the size of the hole absolutely fine now what shall we do I think I'm going to do my favorite which is spirals there's something just something I love about the finished effect of spirals as well Just using my finger and thumbs, my finger and, no my, sorry, my thumb and my fingers to put a bit of pressure on the piping bag to squeeze the um, pigment out.
we go. So that one's already starting to bloom, which is a good sign. So I'm going to use my dotting tool and I'm just going to um, make the shape of the flowers. Let's do a little swirl in the middle. little swirl and there we go and that's literally all I'm going to do with those you can see they're already starting to bloom nicely um, so I'm going to leave those till tomorrow to cure up and then tomorrow I'll uh, well either later on today because it is quite hot so they might cure up enough for me to do it today I'll either later on today or tomorrow I'll backfill them um, and then I'll be back to show you the results once they're ready for unmolding um, so I will see you soon. Bye for now. Hi there and welcome back. I'm going to demold these coasters that I did yesterday. Um, they're all ready now. They're the um, eggnog and grey ones that I did. So I'll demold them all and then we'll have a look at them one by one. Well, they're a little bit soft still at the minute. mold off to one side and we'll have a look at them oh wow that's pretty you get some black card that's bloomed beautifully it is holographic as well I'm not sure how well I'll be able to pick the holographic effect up on a uh, video but I will try I'll take some still shots at the end and the holographic effect usually comes up better on the still shots um, so um, I will put those on at the end of the video but that's bloomed beautifully as I say they are still a little bit soft that's bloomed beautifully too it's a really nice petal the way it comes out that, so is that one yeah they really have bloomed lovely these ones Again, they're my pastel colours that I'm liking at the moment. That's bloomed lovely, that one. It's bloomed, um, the yellow's bloomed in different tiers and the white's bloomed in different tiers as well. That's beautiful. Again, the last one. Yeah, I'm really pleased with those. So I'll take some still shots and I'll pop those onto the end of the video. Um, I'll just let them cure up a little bit more first because as I say they're still a little bit soft at the moment um, so I just I'll leave those sitting to cure finish curing and um, then I'll do some still shots add them to the video and I'll pop the video up for you to see so I hope you like them and I'll be back with another experiment soon so I'll see you soon bye for now